What is the space, physical or emotional, that is defined by my story? Ask that question and have an answer for it. Hi, I'm Kim Batterham, Head of Cinematography at Aftus. Today I want to talk about the physical and emotional space that our stories inhabit when they appear on the screen. One of the first things we have to think about is really the space of the frame. To define that space, the first choice you have to make is what shape the frame is in. And that is defined by the aspect ratio. At the moment, I'm framed up in 16 by 9, which is very common, it's the same aspect ratio that televisions are. To see the effect of what framing can do to the landscape of your story, let's have a look at this. We're now at a one-to-one -one ratio. You very rarely see this, but it has two effects. One is to create a claustrophobia around the characters, and the other is to force the audience to look straight at the characters. The environment isn't important, only the characters are important. Now, we'll go a little wider, out to four by three. Four by three was a very common frame up until the 1950s. And four by three has a similar effect to one to one, except that we have more room for landscape, more room for our audience to explore the space around characters. It implies nostalgia, it implies distance, you know, period. If you want to make a period film, frame it in four by three. Now the opposite frame to four by three is of course widescreen. And let's pull the top and pull the bottom up. Now you can see we're now in what is called two, three, five aspect ratio. And the reason for this frame is it gives a lot of space around a character. If you've got big story, big emotions, lots of action, and you want it to feel like cinema, you go wide. Even though I've set down some guidelines for using different aspect ratios, the rules can be bent. In fact, it's very important to remember that. When you watch Ida, they bent the rules of four by three. When Xavier Dolan used one-to-one -one in Mummy, he bent the rules. The important thing is you have to think about what is the landscape, what is the space, either emotional or physical, or their combination in your story, around your characters. Ask that question and have an answer for it. So once you've defined your space by choosing the shape of your frame, the next choice really are your lenses. And really, even before your lenses, your perspective. So what I mean by that is how far is the camera or the audience from your actors, from your story? Because that distance defines the relationships, both physical and emotional, your characters have in the story. So for instance, you look behind me and you see three trees. And you see the distance each one is from each other and, and, and my distance from those trees. And to your eye, it should look basically the way you see it every day. And the lens that gets us closest to the human vision is a 40 mil. In other words, what I see and what the camera sees be very close. So I'd like to demonstrate what changing perspective does and how that will change the relationships between your characters and between the world that they're in. Now watch this. We have moved the camera in closer towards me, but we're using a wider lens, a 20 mil, to keep the shot the same size. Now, even though the shot is the same size, because we have changed the perspective, my relationship to the background has changed quite a lot. Now these trees stretch out a long way, and this changes the spatial relationship, the feeling of the shot. Now lenses don't change perspective, only you change perspective by moving backwards and forwards. But lenses will exaggerate that. Now let's go to another lens. Again, I'm in a mid shot, but the camera is at least four times further away from me. I'm the same size, but the camera is physically four times further away. Now what this is doing, if you look at the background here, these trees, they're gonna be a lot more compressed. I'm gonna feel a lot flatter and closer to them. So this changes how the shot feels. It's not because we're shooting on a longer lens. It's nothing to do with it. It's that we are further away. And that's my tip for you, really. That when you come to think about your relationship, the audience's relationship with its characters, with the story, think about your lenses. Think about where you will physically be in relation to your cast. Are you going to be close and intimate? Are you going to be further back? How is that going to feel? Do some tests. Remember, choose your aspect ratio. Choose the perspective, in other words, your physical relationship to your characters, and then use your lenses to exaggerate that. And if you find this useful, 
check out my other video, Getting the Best Shot.